Over millions of years, evolution and natural selection have made some pretty well designed animals. But sometimes they make mistakes too, and we're left with an animal that probably should have died off years ago, but somehow still exists. So here are some of the worst designed animals in the world. First we have horses. Now in the wild, horses are basically a fat meatball on four toothpicks. Speaking of meatballs on toothpicks, the French would call those oh dear. which kinda looks like horse ovaries. Anyway, since horses were basically meals on wheels, they always had to be very careful to avoid predators in the wild, and they were always on edge. So, domesticated horses now basically have an anxiety attack whenever they see anything slightly new, like roads or people or just everything else. Horses are also extremely fragile. Their toothpick legs mean that the bottom part of their legs is basically just bone covered in skin. This means that they can run faster, but if that bone breaks, it'll probably never heal. And so, just like my dog who was hit by a car when I was 5, the horse has to be sent to a farm and I can never see it again. Also, a horse's digestive system is like the subway in a big city. You're all mushed into a narrow tube, the smell would probably kill you, and it also takes a long ass time. It takes around 24 hours for the horse's entire digestion to finish. And just like a subway train, the food can't go backwards. So if it eats too much food, the food gets stuck in the system and either has to be pooped out or surgically removed. Which would be a pain in the ass. Next we have the sea snake, or as I like to call them, electric eels but less exciting. Now there's two kinds of animals on this planet, land animals and water animals. Birds try to show off by flying around in the sky, but try laying your eggs in the clouds you tree hopping piece of shit. Most snakes decided to live on land, but I guess one of them went for a swim, got lost and said, well, I guess I'm living here now. That whole land thing was kinda overrated anyway. And then immediately started drowning. Despite not being able to breathe on the water, the sea snake managed to survive for thousands of years, but it has one flaw that threatens its survival. It can't drink seawater because it has too much salt in it. So if a sea snake was feeling thirsty, it had to wait until it rained and drink the rainwater. But if it didn't rain, the snake would just die of dehydration even though it was surrounded by water. Which sounds like a metaphor for something I'm too dumb to understand. Now regular fish can actually drink seawater and get rid of the salt, but sea snakes were probably too busy dying to figure that one out. I guess they should have just stayed on land. Speaking of bad sea creatures, our next animal is a shark. You might know sharks as vicious predators that can probably kill you in one bite. And you wouldn't be wrong, but they have one big mistake in their design. Sharks have to keep moving or they die. There's two main reasons for this. The first one is that sharks are like the aeroplanes of the ocean. And those just ships stop ruining my video. And just like an aeroplane, if the shark wanted to stay at a certain height in the ocean, it would have to keep swimming forward, otherwise it would sink to the bottom. And I think that's great life advice. If you don't keep moving forward in life, you're gonna end up all alone in a dark wet place. Which is your mother's basement. The second reason that sharks need to do this is because otherwise they'll suffocate. Sharks can't breathe like normal fish and they need to keep moving so that water passes over their gills and they can get oxygen. And they have to do this even when they're sleeping. Now all the shark attacks suddenly make sense. I mean, if I was in the middle of a good night's sleep and some dumbass human started screaming, I'd probably get a bit angry too. But I've saved the best for last. It's probably the worst animal to ever exist on this godforsaken planet. It's the koala. Now you might look at these Australian mascots and think that they're the cutest things ever, but don't be fooled by that. First off, their diet. They mostly eat leaves from the eucalyptus tree. These leaves are basically crunchy water. They literally have almost zero nutritional value, and they're also poisonous. Most animals would just ignore them, but koalas looked at them and said, Wow, this is worthless. I'm gonna evolve specifically to eat this. They get so little energy from the leaves that they literally cannot function and have to sleep for almost 22 hours every day. So apparently while I was editing this, thousands of koalas are dying in Australian fires. Now I'm not saying they deserve to die, all I'm saying is they probably could have run away from the fire if they stayed awake for more than 2 hours per day. And when they're awake, all they do is eat more of what's basically poisonous styrofoam and shit it out. They also can't afford to use any of their precious energy on thinking of course and they have one of the smallest body to brain ratios on the planet. Their brain is basically a pebble sized chunk of meat with three commands, eat sh** and sleep on repeat. They are so dumb that they can barely even do those three. In fact, if you put a koala in a room with some leaves on a plate, it'll just starve to death because it doesn't recognize the leaves if they're not on a branch. Eating the eucalyptus leaves also wears down the koala's teeth. And so, what do you think happens when all their teeth are worn out? A normal functioning animal would probably make some new teeth. But the koala can't fit that in its daily cycle, so since it can't eat leaves anymore, you guessed it, 
it dies of starvation. And just to top it all off, like the rotting cherry on top of the shit sundae, more than 90% of koalas have chlamydia. And they can give it to humans too. So yeah, those are some of the worst designed animals in the world. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment and check out some other videos in the description. And the next time you see a kid holding a koala plushie, just think of this video. I'll see you guys later. I got